On Friday, January 21st, Meatloaf's family announced that the singer had passed away overnight at 74 years old. The cause of death for Meatloaf, whose real name is Marvin Lee Aday, has not been confirmed. A statement on his official Facebook page reads, Our hearts are broken to announce that the incomparable Meatloaf passed away tonight with his wife Deborah by his side. Daughters Pearl and Amanda and close friends have been with him throughout the last 24 hours. You'll likely recognize the famous singer and actor from his numerous hit singles throughout the past few decades, which include I'd Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That, and Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Meatloaf leaves behind his second wife, Deborah Gillespie, his first wife, Leslie Aday, and two daughters, Pearl and Amanda Aday. The Facebook statement from his family said, We know how much he meant to so many of you, and we truly appreciate all of the love and support as we move through this time of grief in losing such an inspiring artist and beautiful man. Though Meatloaf became an unlikely film and music superstar, his grown daughters have also pursued careers in music, film, and TV. Prior to marrying Meatloaf in 1978, the singer's first wife gave birth to Pearl in 1975. When he married Leslie, Meatloaf also adopted Pearl, according to The Sun. From a very young age, Pearl toured with her adopted father and was eventually able to develop her own musical talents. Speaking to the Connecticut Post, she recalled the biggest stop on Meatloaf's 19 81 Dead Ringer tour, saying, Being so young, I didn't realize exactly what was going on. The lights were on. There were thousands of people looking at me. I realized, this is scary, but kind of cool at the same time. Years later, Pearl is the lead singer of her own band, Pearl, and is married with one son. In 1981, Meatloaf and Leslie had their second daughter, Amanda Aday. Though she didn't follow in the musical footsteps of her father and her half-sister, Amanda has pursued a career in show business. She's made numerous appearances in movies and television shows. During an interview with People magazine, Amanda spoke about her father's parenting style. She explained, If we didn't get good grades, we were grounded and all of that stuff. So it was very much when we weren't out on tour living this crazy life, it was very important to him that we were grounded in our home. Since Meatloaf's passing, Pearl and Amanda Aday have both spoken candidly about the impact that their father had on their lives and on the rest of the world. During her interview with People Mag, after Meatloaf's death, Amanda spoke about how the rocker operated when he wasn't in the spotlight. She shared, Growing up, when we were little, he always said he never wanted to be hip. Pearl and I would want a new pair of shoes or something, whatever was in trend, fashion-wise or whatever, and he'd always say, Don't be trendy. Don't be hip. Be cool. Because cool is always. And that was him. I consider myself just another human being with a different job than the plumber. According to Amanda, Meatloaf's last words to her were about her upcoming wedding and how he was excited to walk her down the aisle when she tied the knot. She recalled, And I said, As soon as you're out of here, we'll go to the courthouse if you want. We'll do it right away. And he said, No courthouses, but okay, let's go. So, and those were, not his final words, but his final words directly to me. Pearl posted multiple tributes to her father online, alongside a photo of her hugging her dad. She wrote, I love you always, no matter what. I love you with my whole heart. We got you. Forever. She posted another Instagram photo of herself, her dad, her sister, and her mother, and wrote, We love you always, Dad, no matter what, always and forever.